Uh, I'm coming off a year long sabbatical and I'm ready to get back to work. Last year, I had a book that hit number one, woohoo, in a few Amazon categories, but I never really did much with it after the release. My business is focused on corporate diversity, equity, and inclusion. What one social media channel do you think would be most effective for me to focus on first? Probably LinkedIn, but my problem with that is I still don't have access to video and I'd like to do more video. Okay. So for the group, and correct me if I'm wrong, Susan, like Susan's okay. clients are um, have been typically um, corporations who need to bring in diversity training um, for their teams. Uh, correct, right, Susan? Correct. Okay, that hasn't changed. Okay, so I'm starting to focus a little bit more on personal responsibility around this. So, you know, while it's still kind of the same thing, I, I guess part of this still is even a question of like, I'm wondering, is it even still corporate, which I guess it would be because who the hell would be interested in this otherwise? But I, yeah, there's a lot. No, more. and we've talked about that before. I mean, I think yeah. here's the thing, when I look at your lead magnets, which you don't have to produce any more content at this point. I mean, no, you, and that's yeah. the big thing I'm finding out. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm just saying you have yeah. such great content, you know, it's really just a matter of like how, what are we going to put in front of people? Who are those people, you know, and what's the best way to get in front of the most, you know, the most people um, yeah. who are the right people. Okay. But there is a discrepancy on your website and your, and your, um, your freebies. And I think I have your, your website open. I can just pop it open. So you've got these, you've got the 12 steps to diversity recovery. Are you ready for a diversity intervention? Don't wait another day to start reducing conflict and building more productive and innovative teams. So that's definitely for that's the corporate the book. You know, person. And that's from the book. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got 35 things you can do to help build more compassion. It seems as if everyone is stressed out, angry, frustrated, and exhausted in today's environment. It's more important than ever to connect with each other in compassionate ways. And then we've got the um, Compassionate Diversity Challenge to help you build the foundation necessary to understand, connect, and act in more compassionate ways. So this is where, this is my thing. Yeah. For, this, for, the, for the one in the middle and then the challenge, the people who need this are not going to download this. The people who already... I mean, I just don't, this is my thinking, right? Like, yeah, I am an, I am an uncompassionate person <laughs> and I am going to come over here and download this thing to help me build more compassion. I don't think it really works that way. And so I think your strong, your strongest lead magnet, uh, actually, I think they're all great. I just think the promise should be directed. Okay. For money-making, this is what I'm focusing on for money-making. Yep. Yep. The focus needs to be um, and the promise needs to be in the headline, very clear that this is, this is to help your team to, yes, have a diversity intervention and be more productive and reducing conflict, which by extension is going to make that team more profitable, right? Like that, that's really what they want. They, and they also want to be compliant and they don't want to have lawsuits and they, you know, all the things that all the sticky situations that in the landmines that exist, they yeah. want to avoid those. And so the person that hires you is, you know who that is. I don't, we've talked about it before, but I don't remember like human resources, yeah. people or something. I don't know who books you, but like, it's like you have so many things to prove your expertise from the book and all your, you know, speaking and everything that I would, I would just change all of this to be for those people and to make the promise like you know directed at their pain points the person who hires you their pain points um, okay they really probably don't care that much i mean a lot of them pr really probably deep down don't care that much initially maybe about being compassion compassionate or bringing compassionate compassion into the workforce i mean i'm sure you've had plenty of people who do but like a lot of them are doing this because they want to be compliant and they know they have to address it. So they're doing the right thing. And then hopefully, you know, it's sort of one of those things you give them what they ask for, but you, you deliver no. what they ask for, but you really are giving them what they need what and, they, they, yeah. and they don't even know they need it. So in the end, it's a win-win for you and for them and for the world. But for right now, honestly, they're probably just, that's probably what who they are. So in terms of the best channel for you, um, yes, I think LinkedIn is probably it. But what I always say is like, where are you going to, where do you enjoy the most? And I know, I think I remember from way back that you, 
U H A T E LinkedIn, but <laughs> <laughs> and, and I still D O. <laughs> okay, well we're not gonna we're not gonna say that anymore, right. um, because like I do think I think we got to take another stab at it. And you you've actually I mean it all looks really great. Uh, so everybody, Whoa. go to your LinkedIn profile, click edit, and then uh, update it with your a link, the most important link you have right now. That could be uh, for to a sales page. It could be to uh, a challenge or, or a workshop you have coming up, or it could just be to your web page or the about page on your web page, like or the testimonial page on your web page. Like, what do you want it to be? And the other thing you'll notice when you do that is that LinkedIn allows you to customize that link, so you could say like, click here for my free challenge, my free diversity challenge, and then the link it would just disguise the link, and then they click that, and then they they go to the to the challenge. Okay. So a couple of things I want to point out. You said you still can't do video. Do you mean live stream or video? No, I can upload video. I can't do live stream. Okay. So here's the thing. When you said that, I was like, let me go to my, because I can. And I remember, I'm pretty sure I used to could do it from my phone natively. I, think I went in. You can. Hang on. Let me. I'll be honest. I have like 150 notifications on LinkedIn. Like that's, I've been avoiding it. Not because, not because I H-A-T-E it, but because I've been on sabbatical and I just don't want people to get the wrong idea. Yeah, no, it's, but it, it's, um, <laughs> so I might, I'm, I'm going in and I'm going to check on my phone. Cause I think, I actually think I may be able to do it on my phone, which would well, I couldn't, I hard. could not do it on my phone this now, but what, um, but what I can do and the way that I've been doing it is through StreamYard. So, oh. so why don't we double check because most people have streaming now. So, you, and if you don't apply for it again, but I, I just feel like that's, I think that's fixable. I think that you probably do have it and you don't know it. Yeah, um, I can't know. I, I did check the other day before I wrote that question and I'm looking at my phone and I don't like, I can't. But with StreamYard, like I can't either from my phone, but I'm saying using StreamYard, oh. You can do that. Now, here's the other thing, and this is why it's worth it's really worth it to do it. Um, is okay, let's talk about your awesome challenge. Okay. So you can go into LinkedIn and create an event. Okay. And I did this as an experiment the other day. Let me go. Um, okay, so I went in. So let me just tell you, you can go into you can go into events and schedule an event. Basically, you could take your recorded challenge. It will appear live on LinkedIn. I launched this with our, one of our old challenges or a previously recorded challenge to see if it looked believable, if it if it really like felt live. It really did. It was really, really cool. And so um, between StreamYard and the ability to do that in LinkedIn events, like you already have this great challenge. You could run that. You've got your summit that you could run over here. Um, replays right. of your summit. But the bottom line, Susan, is I think that it's it's really going to be about like just focus on LinkedIn if you want. You've already got the all the content and it's really going to be, and you don't need an audience of thousands of people for what you're doing. It, yeah. You know, it you really don't. And so it's more about like your, when you hire your VA, having a VA doing like research for the people that you need to see and putting those people on a spreadsheet with links. So you could start making like really intentional outreach to specific people, or even if you're not ready to jump right into that, just being really engaged on LinkedIn and, and commenting and like having real conversations and doing that 30 minutes a day. And like, you know, maybe you, you make it a point of doing 10 interactions every single day on LinkedIn and making sure you're profile is as optimized as it could possibly be with your link and the content you want people to see that your headline looks exactly what you want it to say that your most important call to action is really visible for people and and just do that you know even if you just have to start 30 minutes a day just doing that and getting really active on LinkedIn and I think that's really kind of all you all yeah. all you need to do because it's making those direct connections with those people I think you need to be marketing your book everywhere all the time you just making sure it's very visible it just gives you so much credibility that I mean that would be my advice as much as I feel like people should be sort of omnipresent because it's so easy to do that now I just think you don't necessarily I think you just I do think you need to just play in the sandbox and really really develop it and the, the last thing that I would say that I think will really accelerate this for you is what I would do because and I've been meaning to do it's just that I 
we're in different, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready to just focus on LinkedIn right now, but getting someone who is an expert like Judy Fox, mm-hmm. getting in her, um, I have no idea what she charges, getting into her accelerator program because she does great things for people. Like I love every time she's been on. Right. Like, she's just, everything. yeah, she's just the smartest LinkedIn person and she really gets results for people. And it's like, you could just shortcut, you know, yeah. with her okay. and and I think that would be a great way for you to get back into the game. 